Hi everyone, Mike here from Retro PC. I'm gonna take a look at some Walnut Creek software today. I've done one other thing from Walnut Creek. It was the Space and Astronomy CD-ROM, and I'm finding that they got a lot of cool stuff like that out there that they put out in the 90s, and these discs are kind of awesome in what they provide the consumer in terms of just random, off-the-wall, just put-together discs of randomness i can't think of a better word than randomness but we're going to take a look at another one because they are a lot of fun to just kind of scroll through and see what they gave you this one is called kika or sika for windows i don't know how to say that exactly but this came out in december 93 and it's pretty cool stuff so let's go ahead here and just take a quick peek at what they're offering us so just like the other one, it's a really cool view window here. And you can scroll through all the various files of things they've kind of matched up. I mean, some of the stuff is like patches and bugs for certain things. That's cool and all. Some of it, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> they give, it, it's just crazy random, but I think that's what makes it so fun. So let's first look at desktop. One thing I've been having a lot of fun with lately is just looking at random old desktop software for Windows. And it's not the easiest stuff to find, I'm realizing, but when I do find stuff, it's, it's pretty fun. So you'll see here a lot of screensavers. They can do a launch app man zip, allows launch buttons anywhere on the desktop. A clock utility. Let's, let's install this clock utility. All right, that usually means it's installed. So if we go back here, there should be a new folder. And there is. And let's see here. I see two applications. Uh, nope, maybe these are just images. That didn't work. Hmm. I don't think this wants to play ball on Windows 98. Well, at the very least, we can listen. Okay. I don't have this set up to be listening to sound, so you're probably not hearing these, but they're just your basic clock sounds. Okay, that bombed. No problem. Let's just try something else. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Button star, button bar program 5.0. Sure, why not? Let's load her up. We'd have to extract this. There we go. This is a software notice. So we got to install it. There it is. Okay. <laughs> you can register this program via CopyServe. Shareware evaluation purposes. So it is shareware, so it's only giving you 16 buttons instead of its full platform, whatever that is. Mark DiBiazio. Online America. Is this America Online? I don't know. Yeah, it is AOL. <laughs> Online America. I 
so I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's, before we just start making some random stuff. And sure, there we go. That looks right. Let's, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. Uh, I think I closed out of it. Oh, it's already running. Okay. Control panel. Oh, so it just gives you buttons for stuff you can already do. So I think this is the program. There would be a ton of buttons here for easy access to you know, like your file manager. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Paint. It doesn't know what to do there. So I wonder if I found like WordPad, it'd probably open whatever I selected. Calendar. Nope. Couldn't find calendar. Calculator. Found that. Well, that's cool. Okay, on to the next one. That's what I mean. Just like random crap. You know, I why is it so fun? I don't know. Oh yeah, games. Alien Force shoot 'em up game. Of course I'll play that. All right. Um guessing it's space, yep. Wow, I can't shoot very many buttons, very many bullets at a time. Finally. Oh, <laughs> this is so boring. It's awful. Missed. Now I don't get another bullet for a little bit because it seems like it. The AI is terrible, but again, so am I. So, yeah, I got you. Right at the last second. All right, that's enough of that. But it's cool. It is what it is. It's a free game. Well, not free, but it's part of this process, this program when you bought it. Let's see some other games. That was kind of cool. Windows version of the classic Connect 4 game. I love Connect 4, so yeah. I want to play that. Ha! Can I make this any bigger? And I can't. Wow, that's really fast. It's just click and then they add one. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, it's not as dumb as I thought. Yellow one. I I didn't even get to see what happened. All right. <laughs> oh, 
was really hoping to just shoot one past him. I suck. I'm done. Wow. That computer's not dumb at that. Okay. One more game. Let's just see what's in here. Boggle. I love this is called yet another shoot 'em up game. Bang bang. Absolutely. Let's play bang bang yet another shoot 'em up game. Oh, I love this game. Does anyone remember this game? I think you can. Uh, I'm not sure what to do or how to play anymore, but this was fun back in the day. Let's do a new game. It's, there we go, there we go. Too far. I think I hit him. There we go. This was a fun game. I mean, this level obviously is really weird, but the computer doesn't seem to be firing back, so whatever. Let's check out miscellaneous here. Huh. Well, there's the entire Holy Bible, King James Version for you. <laughs> Biorhythm. Oh, we got to look at what the heck that is. Oh, that's not what I want. So this is expired. Oh, I'm loving the old CompuServe stuff. 1992. Okay, let's make our person. We'll call him James. Oh, this is the month. Okay, this is the day. Let's just make a day up. And let's look at James Biograph. <laughs> so red is physical, green is emotional, yellow is intellectual, and I cannot read that word. Maybe if I expand it. Interlingual, I don't know. I don't know what a biograph is because I just have no idea but you can look at your biograph in this computer all the way through 2035. Pick the exact day of where you'll be at that day. I <laughs> Maybe you can look at this and be like, hmm, I'm really low intellectually this day, so maybe I shouldn't take that test. Mom, I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty cool. Because it's random, I mean, yeah. Miscellaneous, if I've ever seen it. Let's take a look at a few more things here.
Uh, let's see. Windows programming files. I have no idea what any of this is, so I think looking at it might be. Yeah, I mean, this is cool, but we might need to jump back here and look at something different. I want it to be worth all of our while. Let's check out demos. Something 3D, absolutely. I want to see whatever they can show me in 3D on this thing. No modifications, please. Okay, you're you got it. Now let me in. I, okay, there we go. Looks like it's just kind of running on its own here. It totally is. <laughs> well, so far this is not that impressive. Oh, here we go. Now it is. Look at those 3D shapes. That's pretty cool. And I think that's it. Oh, no, it's going to show us some chess pieces. I'm kind of loving this. So that demo completely crashed Windows, which is unfortunate, as cool as it was, but I'm not giving up yet. Let's take a look at one more demo because that was amazing. And I don't know why this is now opening like it is, but whatever. All right. A graphics demo. Yep, got to check it out. Let's just see what this is. Looks like I gotta install it. Yeah, I have a color display. Sure. CM access. Type demo to run. Let's see what happens here. All right, whatever. There we go. The following keys may be used throughout the demo. Space, Escape, Alt, and F10. Oh, this is awesome. I wish it was full screen. No, there is no sound. What's the question? 
what constitutes the ideal database. Ease. I mean, this is really cool for what it is, just for the nostalgia factor. I mean, it's <laughs> they really are pushing that ease factor here. Oh, and power. And it's basically a promo for Microsoft Access in a demo video. What's the third one? I bet there's a third one. Ooh, data access. Of course it is. Of course you need data access and access and Microsoft access. I mean, well, there you have it, folks. That is the Sika from Walnut Creek from December 93. I could spend hours going through all that stuff. I probably will. If you want to see more of it, let me know. I plan on checking out more Walnut Creek discs as I find them because these are really cool and there's just such random fun stuff with the exception that a lot of it crashes the pro the, the OS just in a ridiculous way, probably because it's really old, even for Windows 98. So it, there is that aspect you have to deal with with this kind of software but i think it's a small price to pay to be able to experience these old programs that have been kind of archived in these discs that walnut creek did throughout the 90s so i'll definitely be doing more as i find them thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next retro pc video goodbye